What? You want me to speak into this thing? Okay. Well, what is it? Don't tap the mic, please. Can I eat it? We're rolling. We're rolling? Rolling what? Can you just read the tablet, mate? Oh, okay. <clears throat> Welcome. I, Captain Beard, and some other people are here to talk to you about how Catan Console Edition came to be. Sit back, stroke a sheep, and take it away, Nat. What we've done with Catan Console Edition is we've really tried hard to bring the board to life. And you'll see this throughout as you're playing. There are characters um, on the hex tiles. You'll see them gathering wheat. You'll see them mining ore. You'll see them shepherding in the fields. You'll see, see little dog running around. You'll also see smaller details. So when you're placing roads, when you're building settlements, when you're building cities. If you choose to play with a random setup, uh, you'll get a different experience of the board every time you do this. It looks very beautiful and it gives you the opportunity to try out some of the different camera angles that are available. So you can choose to zoom in really close if you'd like and have a look at some of these characters that are working on the hexes. Or you can choose to play with the top down mode if that's something you prefer. You will also notice that there are challenges available. With these challenges you'll be able to unlock rewards. These rewards include uh, dice skins, so that you can personalise um, the dice you play with, as well as character frames that you can use to show off a little bit in multiplayer and uh, show how many games you've won. So the game has single player mode, um, and with this you'll be able to play against the dynamic AI. The AI is actually inspired by the Catan lore, and you'll notice that as you're playing against the AI that they each have different personalities, they each have different strategies. Some are going to be much easier to defeat than others, and some of them are really going to give you a tough game, whether it be that they reject some of your trades, or they try and disrupt your road, or they simply put the robber on you every turn. We're going to have both local multiplayer and online multiplayer available to you. So with local multiplayer, we've added the ability for you to track your resources on your phone so that while you're all sat in the same room on the couch, you don't have to worry about your friends or your family seeing what cards you've got. So with online multiplayer, you'll be able to set up a game with other people online and you'll be able to use those skills that you've gained playing against our AI and put them to the test. I can also confirm that we will have crossplay. As the name suggests, it's going to be coming to consoles, both PlayStation and Xbox. And make sure you stay up to date with our social channels, that way you won't miss out on any key information. Thank you, Nat. I live here and even I'm excited. Catan Console Edition will be available to play everywhere on PlayStation and Xbox consoles on February 28th. And you'll be able to pre-order from February 3rd. Oh. And if you do pre-order, you'll get early access and we'll be able to play from February 23rd. I have literally no idea what any of that means, but it sounds pretty cool. Catch you down the road, Catanians. <laughs>